On this set we're looking at edit transform and how we can change or scale a photo, stretch the corners or something like that to improve it. So we're going to start off with, as always, copying the background. And when we do edit transform stuff, we're really going to do that stuff before we even retouch anything. But this is still essentially going to be the retouch layer. So I'm renaming that copy retouch. For the sake of seeing this, I'm just going to shut off the background layer. Now, I'm hitting Command T. Again, that's Command T. And that's automatically going to give me these things called bounding boxes around the corners. Now, as soon as I get those, I could grab the corners and actually shrink, squash, slim down this photo. While I'm doing that, if I hold Shift, it's going to keep it to scale or keep it in proportion. It's not going to allow me to squash it like I was a second ago. So if I let go of Shift again, see how it again lets me squeeze it or smash it. If I hold Shift, it keeps it in proportion. Just another quick way, to, easy way to do that is I could click on this chain and that would accomplish the same thing. It keeps it to scale. Now, so that's if I just want to change the size. Now, specifically on this photo, if you notice the door line is actually going into the right here and into the left over here. So it looks like it's actually getting smaller towards the bottom. If I want to stretch the bottom of this photo out to correct that, I can use Edit Transform. So I'm going to start again with Command T, which gives me these bounding boxes. And then Edit Transform. And we could really use Skew or Distort. I'm going to choose Distort. But it's going to allow me to pull one corner out at a time. And I'm going to go until it looks like it's parallel, like this, the edge of this doorway is parallel to the edge of the photo. And then that made this one go in even a little bit more, so I'm going to pull it out a little bit. So now that it looks pretty much accurate, I'm going to double click on the photo, and that's going to apply that transformation. So I've improved this photo by fixing that slight distortion that was really from the lens. Now let's undo that for a second. And let's do the same thing. Command T, Edit, Transform. And this time we're actually going to hit Skew. And this, the difference between this and Distort, Distort lets me move any way that I want. Skew only lets me move out and in or up and down, it won't go diagonally. But I'm going to pull this out, the same concept. Pull this one out as well until the doorway edge is parallel to the edge of the photo. So that's what I think it should look like. And this time, instead of double clicking to transform, I'm going to click on the Move tool. And this allows me to, to either not apply this at all, cancel it and take me back to that bounding box, or apply it. So I'm going to choose Apply this time. So that's another way of doing this. Within Edit Transform, we have some other options such as Rotate, which just means I can go off to the corners. And once I have a curved arrow, I can rotate the photo if need be. Sometimes we need that to straighten a photo. We have Edit Transform perspective and all that really means is as we pull in one corner the opposite one goes as well or if we pull out they both go out and then we've got some rotate uh, all the way around, 90 degrees clockwise, 90 degrees counterclockwise, and then we could actually flip our photo either up and down or side to side. And we'll look at warp in a different video.